The Art of Living by Benjamin Krems Master. A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 39. Before long, a great change will take place in our approach to life. Out of the chaos of the present time will emerge a new understanding of the meaning underlying our existence, and every effort will be made to express our awareness of that meaning in our daily lives. This will bring about a complete transformation of society. A new livingness will characterize our relationships and institutions. A new freedom and sense of joy will replace the present fear. Above all else, mankind will come to realize that living is an art based on certain laws and requiring the function of the intuition for correct expression. Harmlessness is the key to the new beauty in relationship which will emerge. A new sense of responsibility for actions and thoughts will guide each one in every situation. An understanding of the law of cause and effect will transform men's approach to each other. A new and more harmonious interaction between men and nations will supplant the present competition and distrust. Gradually, Mankind will learn the art of living, bringing to each moment the experience of the new. No longer will men live in fear of the future and of each other. No longer will millions starve or carry the burden of labor for their brothers. Each one has a part to play in the complex pattern being woven by humanity. Each contribution is uniquely valuable and necessary to the whole. However dim is yet the spark, there is no one in whom the fire of creativity cannot be lit. The art of living is the art of giving expression to that creative fire and so revealing the nature of men as potential gods. It is essential that all men share in this experience and learn the art of living. Until now, a truly creative life has been the privilege of the few. In this coming time, the untapped creativity of millions will add a new luster to the achievements of man. Emerging from darkness of exploitation and fear in true and correct relationship, each man will find within himself the purpose and the joy of living. The presence of the Christ and the Masters will speed this process inspiring humanity to saner and safer methods of advance. A new simplicity will distinguish the coming civilization under the guidance of these knowers of God. Already there is a growing sense that all is not well in man's estate. More and more men are becoming aware of the limitations of their lives and search for something better. They question the modes and structures which inhibit participation in the fullness of life, and long for meaning and purpose in all that they do. Shortly, new energies will enter our lives and inspire men to creative action. A new and harmonious stimulus will be given to art and the art of living. A beauty not seen before will transform the ways of men and illumine for all time the nature of God. Man stands now ready for revelation his heart and mind poised, and turned to the future, he awaits the glory which, by readiness, he has invoked.